so you are thinking about making the move to Scottsdale, Arizona, but maybe you're trying to figure out what area or neighborhood might be the best fit for you. If you're in that situation, you really need to figure out what's most important to you before you make a move. We get a lot of people that reach out to us who have visited Scottsdale a few times and they really enjoy it. But if you haven't spent enough time here, you really need to know the pros and cons of each area before you commit to anything. So in this video, we're gonna give you 15 key questions that you need to ask yourself in order to guide you in the right direction. And I'm also gonna get out of the office here. We're gonna tour you around about seven or eight really popular neighborhoods so you can see for yourself what they look like in person. So stick around to the end, make sure you can hear each question and hopefully you can avoid moving to the wrong neighborhood. So if you think that info might be helpful to you, then stay tuned. What's up everybody, it's Greg Corbett with the AZ Lifestyle Group right here in Phoenix, Arizona. If this is your first time to this channel and you're looking to find out everything you need to know about what it's like living in and or moving to the Phoenix metro area, including all the questions you need to ask yourself before moving to Scottsdale, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. We are helping people from all over when it comes to finding the best places and neighborhoods to live here and we absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about making a move and you need any assistance whatsoever, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, however you wanna get a hold of us, we got your back when it comes to moving to Scottsdale and the entire Phoenix Metro. All right, so question number one on my list, and I think this is probably one of the most important questions you can ask, and that is, what does your typical day look like and what do you envision just when you wake up in the morning? Um, and, and what I mean by that is like, do you, are you gonna be taking a walk in your neighborhood? Are you, do you wanna be, you know, close to a, a, a coffee shop that you can walk to or ride your bike to, uh, close to breakfast, you know, close to, you know, one of, one of the, uh, you know, gyms, like something if you work out in the morning, that type of thing. There are so many different aspects um, as far as if you're looking for a place with walkability versus, you know, on the other side of it, maybe you're looking for something that has a crazy nice view that you want to be um, looking at when you go out into your backyard in the morning. So a lot of what you are, what you envision as far as your day to day waking up and what you do is going to help guide you as far as what neighborhoods make sense. We're here in Arcadia right now. This is one of the most walkable and desirable areas because of its close proximity to everything and uh, just the ability to kind of get out, walk around, take your bike around, let your kids get out and about, and all the things you can do within this neighborhood um, that is close. You know, you could be five to 10 minutes from everything you need to be. So you could have something like this, or you could be somewhere on the outskirts of Scottsdale that gives you some nice views. It's hard to choose sometimes, but that's one of the first questions you should ask. All right, on to question two on my list, and that is, um, are you going to need to commute to work or are you working from home? Obviously, with everything that happened over the last couple of years, a lot of people get to work remotely. So if that's the case for you, you get the freedom and flexibility to choose without having to worry about that. But if that is not the case for you, um, being somewhere close to work could have a lot of advantages and be well worth it to you. So um, here I'm in a place um, called McCormick Ranch right now. McCormick Ranch is right in central Scottsdale. Um, in an area like this, you're gonna be very close to wherever you need to be. You typically can get with anywhere in Scottsdale within 15, 20 minutes. Um, also, if you had to go into like Central Phoenix, you can get there pretty quickly as well. So number two, do you need to commute or do you work from home? All right, on to question number three, and this is a pretty big one for a lot of people, and that's, do you have kids? And what's their lifestyle gonna look like? Um, I think, you know, if you're a parent like myself and you're making a move, one of the big decisions you got to make is where you're going to live that you know your kids are going to have like the best life that you have envisioned for them and so if you're if you're making the trip to scottsdale and you have kids and that's something that's you know a big decision maker um or a, or a big part of your decision making you really want to try to figure out you know what areas are going to offer some of the best benefits for your kids like how close they can be to activities can be to some of the parks 
um, can be to, you know, close to where you've got um, other kids maybe in the neighborhood, that type of thing too. So there's a lot of factors to consider. Um, I'm just here wandering around McCormick Stillman Railroad Park right now. We bring our daughters here quite a bit. Um, this is a uh, really cool park in Scottsdale. They're actually getting ready for their little Halloween uh, display and uh, they've got a little Christmas display as well. On to question number four, and that is how important are views to you? And when I'm talking about views, uh, I'm talking about, do you need to go out into your backyard? Do you need to have like a vast look out into the desert? Do you need to have mountain views? Do you wanna um, be on the golf course? Um, what, what's important to you when it comes to your views? A lot of people who live up in way north Scottsdale have these incredible city views. I'm here in DC Ranch right now, and I'm kind of tucked in between, you know, a few different neighborhoods um, that are back here. I've got some on this side, some on the other side. We've got the McDowell Mountains kind of behind us here. Um, a lot of people you can see that have, you know, the view fencing on their back on their backyard that allows them to kind of look out into this kind of open desert area that type of thing um, if that's important to you we need to know about that to in order to guide you in the right direction because the the areas that tend to have the best views tend to be a little bit further out um, from some of these other areas now here in dc ranch you're not too far outside the 101 so from from an ease of access into some of the um, entertainment spots in scottsdale it's not going to be too far off what you're looking for um, so there are some neighborhoods that kind of can give you a little bit of both uh, or best of both worlds. Question number five on my list and that is do you travel often and if you do how close do you need to be to the airport? Um, you know primarily we're going to be talking about Sky Harbor that's going to be the uh, the major airport in Phoenix that people fly in and out of. If you are um, you know living in any part of Central Scottsdale, South Scottsdale, it's gonna be pretty easy access. You can get to the airport within, you know, 20, 30 minutes at most. If you come up to the northern part of uh, Scottsdale, um, you're gonna add a little bit of time there, not too much, but you know, we're here up and uh, true north right now. Um, and if we did a quick calculation as far as what it would take to get to the airport right now, you're probably in the 40 minute range, maybe 45, that type of thing. It probably depends on what time of the day you're traveling and uh, if there's any traffic. Right now it's kind of midday, shouldn't be too bad. But um, for people that you know are gonna be traveling often, might be something to consider as far as you know how much time it's gonna to take to get to the airport. There is Scottsdale Airport as well. So um, for those of you who uh, might fly privately or maybe have a plane on your own, um, Scottsdale Airport's gonna be a little bit closer since that's kind of near Kierland anyway, get there within about 15, 20 minutes. But again, if you like to travel, um, you know, try to think about that when you're looking at neighborhoods. Right, question number six on my list, and that is how much is privacy important to you? And what I mean by that is, you know, how close do you wanna to be to your neighbors? You know, you're gonna see a lot of differences when it comes to some of the neighborhoods in Scottsdale and you know, how close you are, how big the lot sizes are. Um, and so all that's gonna be, you know, a big determining factor in what neighborhood you choose. We're back here in Arcadia again. You know, if we kind of look around, you know, we're, we're here um, in an area that, you know, typically offers a little bit larger lot sizes. So you don't feel like you're completely on top of your neighbors versus there are a lot of other areas that you're gonna have a little bit smaller lot sizes. You're gonna have uh, people right on top of you, that type of thing. Good for lock and leave situation, but might not be the best when it comes to overall privacy, um, you know, and again, depending on how big of a lot you need, if you need like an acre or more, you're gonna have to go in a completely different direction a lot of times. So that's gonna be an important question to ask. How much privacy do you need? Number seven on the list is um, how much is privacy important to you and security? Because, you know, I, I, and privacy and security is gonna be important to everybody to a certain extent, but um, there are some certain situations where you might need a little bit of extra security. Maybe you need um, just a gated community. Maybe you need a, a gated guard or a guard gated community, um, that type of thing. Um, just something that's gonna be in an area that's gonna be watched a little bit more. Some of it is just like, being in a neighborhood where you know that you've got other people looking around for you um, but there are a lot of these neighborhoods up in North Scottsdale where you, you might be in a gated community but you know 
a lot of the homes are second homes and people um, are, you know, it's pretty quiet around here. Real quick, you guys, if you're finding this info helpful at all, please consider hitting that like button and make sure to leave us a comment down below. Let us know what areas you're thinking about when making the move to Scottsdale and any questions that uh, you tend to have when you ask yourself what areas might be right for you. We appreciate it. All right, question number eight. Are you looking for a primary residence or are you looking for a second home? Um, similar to the last question, you know, this is a, an important question to ask yourself and try to figure out just in order to, to uh, kind of determine whether you need a, like a lock and leave situation, if you need a little bit of extra security, if you need a gated neighborhood. A lot of people who are looking for second homes, they, they, they just want the comfort to know that um, when they're gone, they're in an area that's going to be closely monitored, it's going to have a little bit more security, that type of thing. Um, there's just a lot of need for that um, when you're looking for a second home in Scottsdale. So obviously in a primary residence situation, you might be looking for some of the same things, but um, we just talked to so many people who are looking for second homes and they want that extra security. And so if you do want that, that's gonna be helpful in order to try to guide you on which area is right. And on to question number nine on my list, and that is, what does your nightlife look like? Um, do you tend to get out and about a lot? Do you like to spend a lot of time out on the town or do you see yourself more staying at home? You know, similar to uh, question number one, when we're talking about, you know, what you think about doing in the morning, what your lifestyle looks in the, like in the morning, um, you know, what you do at night could dictate where you want to live as well because obviously the closer you are into the action, um, the easier it is to get out and about versus if you're out on the outskirts, you got the areas with the um, city views and that type of thing, might limit your ability to get out and about or make it a little bit tougher. So if you see yourself as someone who's like, hey, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time hitting a lot of the shops, hitting a lot of the restaurants, I wanna be close, access to them um, maybe staying a little bit in closer to the action makes sense if not there's definitely a lot of people that just make their own yard and their own home their oasis they entertain a lot of people they spend a lot of time out in their yard um, and just have you know wh whether it's parties or if you're just kind of chill and you just stay home and you just enjoy everything that's in your neighborhood that's a that's a good plan as well so but it's a great question for you to try to figure out what might be the right spot for you. All right, question number 10 on my list, and this is kind of branching off our last one, and um, that's if, you, if you're if you someone who likes to stay at home, are you going to be, um, you know, entertaining? Are you gonna be, you know, having a lot of guests over? Are you gonna be throwing parties? What, what's your lifestyle when it comes to that? Um, I wanted to come up to uh, a neighborhood up in the uh, farther part of Scottsdale and kind of show you uh, some of the stuff that you can see, you know, we're in a in an area here where you've got, you know, three quarter acre acre lots, um, some newer homes up here, um, extremely quiet, um, gated neighborhood, kind of a, a little pocket up here, and this is the type of stuff that you know when you you look out and. I, I'm not sure how easy it'll be to kind of see between the houses here with this camera, but you'll be able to see some uh, really nice city views and that type of thing. And if you're entertaining, you have the ability to have like these huge open backyards and that type of thing. So I, it, go, it goes back to like how much space do you need if you're looking to entertain? Um, because if that's your lifestyle, if you're like, hey, I don't need to go out anymore. I've, I've, done, I've done a lot of going out in my previous life. Now I like to stay at home. I like to have people come to me. Then something like an area up here uh, in North Scottsdale might give you um, something that is extremely valuable when it comes to like, hey, come up to our house. We'll be throwing a good party up here and uh, we got room for you. All right, question number 11 on my list and that is, what amenities are you looking for when it comes to finding a neighborhood in Scottsdale? Um, for example, we happen to be in Ganey Ranch right now. I'm right here near the golf club at Ganey Ranch. Um, and when it comes to amenities, Ganey Ranch is known for having some of the best of the best as far as, you know, if you want a clubhouse, if you want, you know, to have little walking trails, if you want to have obviously the golf access, if you want uh, a nice swimming pool area, um, sport courts, Anything that you can think of, you know, Ganey Ranch is gonna have like that type of thing. There's a lot of neighborhoods in Scottsdale that have a lot of great amenities, uh, including DC Ranch, which we've been at. So 
That is going to be a big question for you. There's gonna be some neighborhoods that are going to have an excess of some of the best amenities that you can find. There is going to be a cost to that, which is um, gonna be probably a part of your uh, HOA monthly dues, but if you like having those available to you and you think you're gonna have um, the time to take advantage of them, having these amenities could be a big uh, decision maker when you're trying to figure out what location is best for you. On to question number 12. This is another lifestyle question, and that is, what do your weekends look like? What do you envision um, doing in your time off? Um, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do in your off time? And when I say that, I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to figure out whether or not, you know, you like to go hiking, you wanna be close to some trails, you wanna do some uh, road biking, you wanna go maybe hit the lake, you wanna have close access to a golf course. You know, what do you see yourself doing? Because um, obviously you live anywhere in Scottsdale, you're gonna be having fairly close access to that, but it's nice to know that you can be really close by in some of these particular areas, especially uh, up here again, we're, we're still in DC Ranch right now, and uh, you know, you're gonna have close access to some of the trails, you're gonna have close access to getting out to like Bartlett Lake, that type of thing. So again, depending on where or what your activities are, could be helpful in determining where you wanna be. Question number 13, um, and that is, do you like cooler temperatures? And are you potentially open to having snow? Because if you go up into the far north area of Scottsdale, uh, the furthest part of the north Scottsdale, you're typically going to get temperatures, especially in the evenings, that kind of drop, you know, a good at least 10 degrees lower than what you're going to see in the central, the south part of Scottsdale. Um, and there are you know, a few times that we've seen in the past when we get into our winter months, uh, January, February, and even March, where uh, you might see some snow hit the ground. Now, is it snow that's gonna accumulate and you're gonna have it, <laughs> you're gonna have to shovel it? No, uh, you don't have to worry about that, but you might get uh, some of these crazy storms that kind of blow in and, and give you some, uh, some some weather that you might not expect in the Scottsdale area if you're living here. So probably not something that you need to worry about and it's actually kind of nice to have some of the cooler temperatures during the summer. But um, uh, for anybody who's like, hey, uh, number one, I would like that. Or number two, I want nothing to do with that. Um, North Scottsdale might be something to, uh, you know, consider as far as one or the other. All right, question number 14 on the list. And that is, are there any other areas you should consider outside of Scottsdale. If you have Scottsdale on your mind, is there is there any place that would be similar to Scottsdale that maybe offers a few more options than maybe what you're seeing online right now? Um, it's a tricky one to answer. You know, for a lot of people that I talk to, if you're really into Scottsdale, I don't know if there is a another spot that's going to check all the boxes that Scottsdale does. But there are some areas that you might wanna consider um, that are kind of surrounding Scottsdale Fountain Hills is an area that is just on the east side of Scottsdale. If you're looking for great views, maybe you don't need some of the amenities of, of, of being right inside Scottsdale. You just want a place that has great views and a cool little feel, maybe a good um, second home type situation that gives you close proximity to Scottsdale. Fountain Hills could be an answer. Paradise Valley obviously has a lot of positives to offer. So if your budget's on the higher end and you want the privacy, you want the larger lots, you want the big estates, Paradise Valley could give you um, some potential options to look at. Um, you also have to look at areas like um, the Phoenix side of Arcadia. There are um, definitely some sections within Phoenix, uh, you know, around Arcadia and Biltmore that you might want to consider as well, as far as maybe having some similarities to some of the neighborhoods here that you might see in Scottsdale. So. Um, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be case by case on whether or not there might be an area that might fit for you. We can definitely have that discussion when you answer your questions. All right, so the last question, one of the, one of the most important ones when it comes to trying to figure out where you wanna go, and that is what is your budget? What are you looking to spend? Um, you know, a, a lot of things to kind of go into when it comes to uh, different areas in Scottsdale and affordability, that type of thing. We really gotta kind of dial those in for you. So let us know what you're looking at. We'll try to guide you in the right direction. We'll try to maybe pinpoint some areas that uh, might give you some um, more affordable options as well, just in case that is something that's 
important to you. So we're gonna get into that. What you need to do if you wanna learn more is you need to reach out to us, um, answer these questions and then pick up the phone, give us a call and, and really kind of dial in you know, what's important to you so we can kind of help guide you, kind of point you in, in certain directions and help you understand how we can help you uh, make a smooth move out here to uh, the Phoenix area and ultimately to Scottsdale. So again, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, however you want to get a hold of us. We got your back and until the next video, we'll catch you later. Mm -hmm.